Someday, and that day may never come, I may call upon you to do a service for me. Until that day, accept this as a gift. Week, huh? Yeah, some high rollers. I'm gonna celebrate tonight, taking Serafina to the Continental Club. Hey, baby. Mm. Where's my boy? Mm. He's been playing handball in the alley all day. I thought the noise was gonna drive me nuts. My sister's looking after him tonight, though. Good. Oh my god. My boy! Oh Christ. Father, my husband was always loyal to you. He died for that loyalty. I have not forgotten him, nor the loss that you have suffered. Have you ever wanted for anything? Haven't I always taken good care of you? Padrino, forgive me. It's only that I'm so worried about my son. He's fallen in with some bad men. Fools. 
He's in trouble, and please, he needs your help. Godfather. I hope that their first child be a masculine child. Thank you, Luca. My most valued friend. Don Corleone, I'm gonna leave you now because I know that you are busy. Thank you. One more thing, my friend. I need you to find someone for me. Don't you deserve to cut the loot, huh? Just cause you drove the fucking car? I'm the leader of this gang, and you get what I say you get. Ah! Oh, stay down, punk! <laughs> Damn you! Oh. 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 Take his pockets. Oh. 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 My name is Luca Barazzo. I've been looking for you. You ready? Let's see your moves. Quick hits, kid. Come on. Try punching across your body for more power. Mix it up. Pull back your fist, kid. Charge your punch. Alternate your punches, kid. Use both hands. Don't let him disrespect you, kid. Hey, you gonna fight or what? I wanna see your moves, kid. I didn't mean to cross the Corleones. Uh, looks like your friends decided to join the party. Okay, lift him up. Keep him grabbed and let him have it. I see you know your business. All right, kid, let's see if you can handle this one. My name is Luca, Luca Brasi. Remember me? I was a friend of your father's. I, I remember you. What are you doing here? Looking for you, kid. The Don, Don Corleone, he wants to make sure that you're safe. Made a promise to look after you, get you out of this petty thug bullshit. What does he want to do with me? Hey, you're talking about the Don. You should be asking what are you gonna do for him. But hold with the questions. We gotta leave before the cops show. Okay, kid, here's a few things to get you started. Your map will help you find your way around New York. I've marked the Corleone safe house on it. Go there first, get yourself cleaned up. Safe house, got it. Also, your notepad can be used to keep track of your various jobs. If you're ever confused about what to do, just check the notepad. Okay, Luca. Anything else I should know? Yeah, and this is important. We're at war, kid, and Little Italy ain't safe. This guy's one of my soldiers, my crew. He's gonna stick by you for a while and make sure you get to the safe house in one piece. Now get moving. I'll contact you later. Get to the safe house, kid. Clean up. So you're the Don's new recruit. Should I take off? No. Don't you go anywhere, okay? Those guys in brown are the Tatalia family from Brooklyn. Sons of bitches, most this of them. This guy's real scum. Why don't you try bribing that cop over there? If you want my help, you gotta cough up the dough. You can do us a big favor by turning down the heat. A little green goes a long way, my friend. Illness, 
Good job. Maybe now the cops will lend us a hand, huh? That's the Last time I take a cab. Put a bullet in his head and be done with it. You ever been to Topeka? No. Pardon me. Do you have friends in the precinct? Run! I'll cover you. Get out of here. Get out of here and lay low. Stand back. He just rigged up a car bomb. Get down. Car bombs are a great way to sneak an explosive onto enemy turf, kid. to the safe house, right? Kids, second floor. Luca's gonna meet you outside. I wouldn't keep him waiting. Hey, kid. Let's take a walk. Ah, it's less crowded now. I like that. Makes it easier for a man to get his business done. I make good money, I help the family, I get a little action on the side. But one thing must be understood. I would never go against the Godfather. <gasps> Don Corleone is a man I respect. Old Emilio. He doesn't seem to give a damn about paying us respect. He's giving his kickbacks to the Tatalias. Needs to be taught a lesson. I want you to have a word with Emilio. Convince him to pay his dues to the Corleones. Think you know what to do? Sort of. How should I handle it? Eh, it depends. With some guys, you only need to show a little respect. Just walk up to him and talk to him. A little negotiation goes a long way. Got it. And if the guy don't look like he's gonna crack? Then you remind him why he needs protection in the first place. Try turning up the pressure, but don't go too far. A man pushed past his limits can be dangerous. Capiche? You wanna earn some protection money? First, you gotta find a business right for the taking. To extort the owner, you gotta convince him that it's in his interest to pay us, capiche? Each merchant folds under different kinds of pressure, and everyone has a weak spot. Some folks will listen to reason. Others, well, you're gonna have to uh, apply pressure. 
When targeting a merchant, you'll see his pressure show up under his health. Everyone has two lines, where they'll give in and where they'll fight back. The closer you can push a merchant to their breaking point without pushing them over, the more cash you'll take home. But be careful, a man can only take so much. Push them too far and they'll snap, maybe even take you on. Persuasion is an art. You can threaten the poor schmo with your bare fists or a gun. You can smash up his shop, even beat up some unlucky customers. All sorts of ways. Me? I like the simple approach. Crack open the register with his own head. Sometimes, though, you won't even have to break a sweat. If the shopkeeper asks for a favor, you might be able to win him over by doing what he asks. Earn his loyalty, you'll be rewarded in kind. Ain't you supposed to be doing a job for me? Yeah, but... Yeah, but get to it. I ain't got all day. I said, get to it! What are you doing back here? We're closed. Luca Brasi sent me. He has some business he wants to settle with you today. Why should I even give you a dime? Come on, I'm just a working guy. No! How much is this? Stop, I, I give up. I won't be needing this. I think I broke your thing here. Get your grubby hands off of me! Let me go! Listen, Emilio. The Corleones run this neighborhood. If you're not paying them, you'll pay the consequences. I don't want no trouble with you. Take the money. Give Luca Brazzi my regards. You want to own New York City? You want to be the king? You've got to control the rackets. They're all over town, usually in some crappy little shop with a dirty secret. These shops are called fronts, and they're hiding the illegal racket stuff that's being pushed on the streets. Break the shopkeeper, and maybe he'll let you poke around his business. If you're lucky, you'll find the racket boss. Try cracking some skulls and persuade him to show the Corleone some loyalty. But it's better to buy them out instead, if you can afford it. The more rackets you control, the more cash you'll make for the family. But to be a real earner, you have to find the warehouses supplying the fronts. These fortresses are a tough nut to crack. But if you take one over, you'll discover where all the liquor, weapons, and other racket merchandise actually arrives in New York. The hubs. Taking over a hub is the key to breaking the rival family's backs. There's another way to get your teeth into those rackets. Hijack their supply trucks first. Each neighborhood is full of trucks smuggling goods from warehouse to business and back. Stop the truck and take out the guards, then rough up the driver. Take his keys, stash the truck somewhere safe, and you'll score some fat loot. Finally, don't forget to check in on the local brothels and casinos. Those gamblers, pimps, and madams tend to stick together, but if you smooth talk the owner just right, Ooh. you might find yourself sitting in the lap of luxury. Get the hell out of here! Get out of here, you jinx and the players. The Corleones want to make an investment in your casino. What do you say? Son, it's your lucky day. I accept. You'll 
get your money. Every week. I promise. Hey, this is my neighborhood. You and your paisan must honor me. Okay, okay. I don't want no trouble. I don't like cheapskates. But I'll take what you've got. Maybe we'll see each other around sometime. It's the old story, kid. Make trouble, and the cops are gonna be all over you. The bigger the crime, the more heat that comes down on your head. Cops will be everywhere, and they won't be too friendly. That is, if they ain't already shooting. Manage your heat by bribing cops on the street, or cooling your heels at a safe house. Each neighborhood is run by a police captain. Leave some problems with this guy, and he'll make sure all his lackeys look the other way if you want to wave your gun around. Hell, they might even fight for you, as long as you don't push things too far. If you join the family, you'll get Tom's report. All our guys report back to Tom and tell him the heat levels in each neighborhood. Keep an eye on the heat, or you might get burned. Jeez, what took you so long? You get the money? Yeah. Hand it over. See? I told you this business was interesting, huh? I want you to meet up with a friend of mine, Paul Gatto. Show him this. That way he'll know you're a friend of mine. I gotta go. Congrats on your new business. You ever been to hey, you been to see Paulie yet? He's over at the Falconite Social Club. What's the matter with you? Well, excuse me. I'm looking for Paulie Gatto. Luca. Luca sends his love. So, you Luca's new errand boy? I ain't nobody's errand boy. Hey, take a joke, why don't you? Take it easy, take it easy. Look, Luca told us about you. He's just, uh, busting your balls, Paulie. Right, Paulie? Thinks he's a comedian. Meet Marty Malone. He ain't a pretty sight, but, My uh... friends call me Monk. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Okay, okay, this ain't no tea party. We got work to do. Now follow me. It's right around the corner. The Undertaker's daughter just got out of the hospital. She got beat up pretty bad by a couple of punks. We gotta off these guys? No. We're under orders. Just beat them up real bad. So keep you cool. I'll show you what to do. Me and Paulie are just gonna chaperone over here. Make sure things don't get out of hand. Quiet. Come on, follow me. Don't make Luca a lie. All right, he said you wouldn't have any problem teaching these two degenerates hey, a lesson. We won't hurt you. I just want to make sure you don't blow this situation. Chase him. Don't let him get away. Run! Pummel him, kid. Okay, where's that other combat? Push him up against the wall. Oh. I'm sorry. Ah! 
The girl ain't worth this crap. She's just so damn broad. Crack your skull, kid. Well, well, well. Looks like there's nobody home in this one. Nah, he's down there. Maybe he can use some company. Please, I won't do it again. Oh, we know you ain't gonna do it again. Jeez, you should have learned to treat the games a little nicer, with a little respect. Now it's too late. Good night, sweetheart. Come on, that's enough. Think we got him shook up enough? Well, at least we didn't kill him. Clemenza will be happy about that. No, but you scared him half to death. We're a hell of a team. I may have something else for you guys later. See you around. Good work, guys. Oh, Luca was right. You got balls. You did good, just like he said. Now get the hell out of here. He's waiting for you over in a bowery. Look. Luca is not a patient man. You better get your ass over there pronto. Come see me, kid. Got a job. I'm near the L station in Little Italy. Follow me. It's for your own good. It's time you learn how we do things in the old country. This ain't no weapon like from your army boy days, but it'll do the job. Come on, let's see what you can do. Hey, thanks. It's a loud one. It scares away curious people. Can't be traced, neither. Draw your gun, kid. Give that dummy a few slugs to the chest. Now you can disarm some people with a slug to the shoulder. You can stop people in their tracks with a shot to the knee. Okay, up against the wall, kid. Try to shoot that dummy from the corner. Good. Now the other one. That's the way. Let's work on your aim, kid. Fire off a couple of rounds into the front of that truck. Don't forget to reload your piece. I got something to do for the Don. It's a secret. And we're the only ones who know, so let's keep it that way, huh? Don Corleone wants me to act like I'm unhappy here and make peace with Salazzo so I can get on the inside. We're going to Midtown and you're driving. Hold with the questions.
There's an alley over there where you can keep an eye on the meeting. If anything happens, get out of there fast and find Monk. Tenta o piora com a nossa família Corleone. Capaz de que eu vou cambiar. Te vou meter com mim? Quais desordens são de bom? 50 mil dólares. Dá o princípio. Vá bem. De acordo. Está bem? Grazie. Something terrible's happened. Hey, hey, not on the telephone, kid. All right, I'll meet you. When? Barbershop on March Street. I'll meet you down there this afternoon. But... I can't make it sooner. Just keep your mouth shut, all right? I'll see you later. Talk about this on the phone. Just meet me at the barber shop in Little Italy. Monk's looking for you. He's over at the barber shop.
I, I don't know what to say. Hey, come on. Quit bossing around. Hey, mister. Monk Malone, you know him? I'm supposed to meet him here. Hey, relax. He went outside for a few. He'll be back. Take a seat. Keep the car running. It's a work day. Keep your mind on the job. Hey, Francis! Marty! Over here. Hey, sis. How you doing? How's the old man? Good. Most days, he's tired. Inspector Fredo, you're gonna buy some fruit. Okay, Bob. Not a chance. What's up? Monk! Thank God. Luca's dead. Luca? Thank you very much. You're very kind. Merry Christmas. In the ambulance, Monk. No. will be all right. Frankie, my sister, she's out there. Make sure she's okay. Go find Frankie. Frankie, right? Monk's sister. Yeah, why? He's been shot. Oh, God. What happened? It was a hit. I think the Don is dead. Hey, you gotta help me get my pop to the hospital. Get in. We'll follow the ambulance.
What's going on here? Tell me. I'm not scared of you. Stop. I got information. Who else do you have? Tell me. It's the only way you'll get out of this alive. Salotz. He's got your consigliere, Tom Hague. They're hiding in an old diner in Brooklyn. to the hospital. It's on the north side of Little Italy, near East Houston Street. Step on it! We gotta find the hospital! Watching a movie, get him out of here. Afraid him. Get your ass over here. Hey, kid. Don't mind, Sonny. It's just that seeing his pop like that. So, what happened out there? We got trapped on the bridge. The guy there says something about Salazzo and your consigliere. Consigliere? Tom, what else did he say, kid? This is important. What else? He said they were in an old diner in Brooklyn. Christ. I hope Tom is okay. He's not the fighting type. We'll take it from here, kid. Stay out of trouble, and I might have a job for you sometime. Go home or something. Corleone Capo. He's gonna find out where Salazzo's keeping Tom. We'll call you if we need you. We gotta keep our business private. Clemenza will call you when he's ready. They found out where Salazzo's hiding Tom. Meet Clemenza at his house in Brooklyn, pronto. Yeah, hello? Santino Corleone. Yeah. We have Tom Hagen. In about three hours, he'll be released without proposition. Don't lose that famous temper of yours, huh, Sonny? No. I'll wait. Rocco, head on over to the waterfront. So I think I know this old diner. Pull over here. Go around back. And make sure none of these bastards get out that way. Now don't come in the building. We'll be putting holes in anything that ain't Tom.
Follow me, and be quiet. Stay down and keep out of sight. If the guards see us, they might hurt Tom. Strangle that guy, and don't let the other guards see you. Listen, go around the back and watch for anyone trying to come out that way. You'll need to take out the guards, but do it quietly. I don't like violence, Tom. Huh? I'm a businessman. Blood is a big expense. He's still alive. They hit him with five shots and he's still alive. Well, that's bad luck for me. And bad luck for you. Goodbye, Tom. Sorry it didn't work out. Point that thing the other way. Use your head, buddy. You haven't got a chance. You're surrounded. Don't take another step, or I'll blow his brains out. Look, we can talk about this. I'll do it! I'll kill him! We're all grown-ups here. Let's discuss this like men. Good job, kid. Luke is dead, Tom. Jesus. It's worse than I thought. How's the dot? It's bad. Let's get out of here. Take me to the compound. I'll show you the way. Hey. Wanna ride with me back to the compound? Take the Manhattan Bridge. It'll be faster. No problem, Mr. Clemenza. Did you see that? Did a 
hell of a fine job out there. Family owes you. Got a bright future with us. Bright future? Tom, the kid's a fucking natural, just like his old man. We should see how he does on the streets, you know? We could bring you into the family, see how you get on. You'll start out as an associate, nothing more. That means you'll be working for me, kid. But if you want to be an associate, you'll have to earn it first. You mean bring in some money for the family? Big. So, Tom, what'd you learn about Salazzo? Now, Salazzo is known as a Turk. He's supposed to be very good with a knife, but only in matters of business or some sort of reasonable complaint. Now, his business is narcotics. He has fields in Turkey where they grow the poppy. And in Sicily, he has the plans to process it into heroin. Now, he needs cash, and he needs protection for the police, for which he gives a piece of the action. I couldn't find out how much. The Tatalia family is behind him here in New York. We have to be in it for something. Whatever it is, it can't be good for the poor Leones. Back here if you get in the jam. I'd be greeted as a friend. Incredible! Tom's free and not a scratch on him. I wonder what Salazzo's thinking. He's already shown his hand. I don't know. Nobody kidnaps a consigliere and gets away with it. Salazzo might make another attempt on the Don's life. He needs protection. I wonder what Salazzo's thinking. He's already shown his hand. Tom's in the office. I bet he wants to thank you. You the guy that found out it was Salazzo? Let me speak plainly. The Corleone family has need of men like you. Because, as we speak, our enemies encircle us, waiting to prey on any sign of weakness. What can I do for the family? We would like to offer you a role as an unofficial enforcer for the family. See that we maintain control on the streets, help us to regain our true balance. In time, you will become a trusted associate to our family, and then, God willing, you will become one of our made men. Tell your family's behind you. You have to be in it for something. Salazzo is known as a Turk. He's supposed to be very good with a knife, but only in matters of business or some sort of reasonable complaint. Hey, Clemenza's looking for you. Over at the Falconite. Ain't you supposed to be uh, meeting over at the Falconite? Hey, the new Enforcer. Congratulations. We all just heard the news. Thanks. It feels good to be part of the family. Glad to hear it, because there's someone important that you should meet. Salvatore Tessio, one of the family's most loyal capos. He's looking for someone to take on a contract hit against the Tatalias. Maybe you're the right man for the job. Tessio and Clemenza are the Corleone family's two capos. You'd be wise to follow their example. Mr. Tessio, it's an honor to meet you. How you doing, kid? Got a job for you. You're interested? Sorry, I, I got a lot going on right now. I'm gonna miss Luca Brazzi. 
I wanted to be just like him. I remember one time he killed one of our own guys just for giving the Corleones a bad name. You're not gonna give the Corleones a bad name, are you? My respects, Sonny. I, I, I mean, Santino. It's a privilege to meet you. Do you have any advice for an up-and-coming enforcer? You know, trucks are a good place to start. I started by robbing trucks. I remember telling Pop uh, I wanted to enter the family business that I could, you know, learn to sell olive oil. He tells me, yeah, every man has one destiny. Well, today, today my destiny is all about wanting what the hell's inside of them trucks and what it does for me, you know what I mean? You know, it's like the old days. We hit their rackets, we put them out of business, but I mean, starts with the trucks. What do you know? <laughs> trucks end up uh, at the businesses, dirty businesses, dirty secrets. You, you just gotta look. You know the kind of look I'm talking. It, it kind of gets moved along a little quicker when you run a pistol up their ass. <laughs> Makes them kind of lead you to where you want to go a little quicker. Hey, kid. It's Clemenza. Come on over and meet up with me at the Falconite Social Club. Pronto. Forgive me, please. The Don's still in bad shape. Why don't you go over to the hospital in Little Italy and keep an eye on things? You think there's gonna be trouble? The police got the building under wraps. But they're not our guys, and I don't trust them. Look, you think you're an up-and-comer? You need to help out, okay? I ain't got nothing better for you. Hospital or nothing. Go help out at the hospital. After that, maybe we can do business. You look like you want to talk to me? I know a secret about those delivery trucks. Could earn you a lot of dough. Interested? I'm interested. What are you thinking? Them trucks ain't all legit. Some are smuggling goods for the mob. Stop them with a little firepower, then interrogate the driver. You'll find out where they're coming from. Those smugglers are always part of some racket. Find out where they're going and talk to the boss. You might be able to take over the whole shebang. Never know. The Cuneos are honorable, but if you cross them once, they'll hunt you down. There are five families out there, kid, each controlling their own neighborhood. First, there's the Tatalias from Brooklyn. Bruno Tatalia is next in line to be Don, and is working with that Turk asshole, Salazzo. Tatalias are tough but nothing you can't handle. As for Brooklyn, the Heights is pretty rich, but watch out near the waterfront. If I had a dime for every cheap hotel, brothel, or sleazy clip joint, I'd be a very wealthy man. Look into the face of a Strachi and you'll see one thing, trouble. You don't want to run into them on a dark night in a New Jersey stronghold. At first, the place looks pretty quiet, all little shops and fancy parks, but watch out. Better bring a crew with you before paying the Strachis a visit. Hell's Kitchen is one of the city's toughest neighborhoods, controlled by the Cuneos. They ain't rich. A few gambling clubs and brothels, plus some weapons. Hell's Kitchen is a sewer, full of burned down tenements and empty warehouses. The rail yards are a rat's nest of scumbags and late night wheeling and dealing. Midtown is the heart of New York. You got all those famous landmarks that you've seen in pictures. Plus the biggest hotels, swankiest nightclubs, and the most valuable rackets in town. One family controls Midtown. 
the Bocini. They're tough sons of bitches. Don Emilio Bocini is in charge and rules with an iron fist. And finally, there's us, the Corleones. Little Italy used to be our turf, but the rival families kept moving in and hitting our businesses. We gotta stop them, kid. Take the families out one by one. But when you look up at that big sign, Jenko Olive Oil, you know, on Mott Street, that's when you know you're home. The Barzinis, nah, they seem okay. Keep to themselves, pretty much. You can trust the Cuneo, but mess with their business, and you're a dead man. I hear the Barzinis are good allies, long as you don't cross them. Never trust the Stracci. They're like animals, believe me. The Tetalias have gone soft. Just knock them over and poof, <laughs> they're gone. Salazzo might make another attempt on the Don's life. He needs protection. Going to the hospital to see no, Pop. No, no, I want, I want to send some bodyguards with him, all right? Ah, uh, he'll be all right. Salota knows he's a civilian. All right, be careful, huh? Yes, sir. Send somebody with him anyway. Hi. Hi. Guard duty, huh? Yeah, you? I'm here to see Marty. Listen. Um, thanks. There's nothing I hate more than playing the damsel in distress, but I appreciate what you did. I guess I better go in. Uh, hey. Yeah? I was thinking, maybe we should, you know... No. No. We really shouldn't. But we will. Hey, no weapons inside. Hand him over. No problem. You know where Monk Malone is? You mean Marty Malone? He's upstairs, second floor. You get all this back when you leave. Hello. Uh, are you looking for Mr. Malone? He's in room seven. A lot of your friends were here earlier. The police made them leave. No one gets by us. Orders of Captain McCluskey himself. There's another gangster down the hall. Some small type hood. Your type. Guy down the hall? He's in here for a flesh wound. Like some little girl. Can't go in there, kid. Move along. I ain't got time for you. Scram. Don't try nothing stupid. Half of our division is holed up here. You flowers should brighten the place up. Well, well, he's my kind of nurse. <laughs> so you decided to come look up my little brother after all? Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thanks. He's starting to look like his old self again, right? What was that? I'm gonna make you cry for your m Go check out what that noise was. Time to die, Don Corleone. Don Corleone, come out. You can't hide forever. Gonna do punk, do it. 
Get Frankie out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Michael Corleone. Men are coming here tonight to kill my father. I'm here to help. Clemenza sent me. What happened to the police? The guards? I don't know, but I have an idea. I'm gonna get the nurse to move my father to another room. Now you better get your girl out of here. There's a way out through the basement. Go find Tom Hagen. Tell him what's going on. Hey, keep away from the front door. They may be out there already. Find a way to get Frankie out of here. All right, do it now. Jeez, he must have been looking for the Don. I hope he's okay. Oh, <laughs> just wait till I get out of this hospital. Stop messing with me and protect the Don, all right? Just lie here, Pop. I'll take care of you now. I'm with you now. I'm with you. You know, there's a lot of foolishness about this colossal business. It's so unfortunate. It's really unnecessary. I gave him my know with all my courtesy. I told him his business uh, would not interfere with mine. And uh, he didn't take it right. I know that the Italian family is like a misfortune on our heads. Well, that's life. Everybody's got their own tale of sorrow. Let's go. Downstairs? You lead. We need to get to the basement. Come on. Let's go. There go more of them. You should wait here. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Okay, but be careful. Don't worry. They won't know what hit them. Jump him! Look at the oh. Let's go! Ah. What do you want? I call that a punch? Ooh. What's next? Do it! Oh. Don't let him get away! Nobody punches me like that! No one's gonna recognize it when we're through with you. I'll go get Tom. See if you can help Michael. Frankie, are you gonna be okay? Yes, I'll be fine. Go on. The Don needs you. Thanks for saving me. I'll go get Tom.
Follow me. We've got to cover the front entrance. Don't move. No ah, fucking muscle. I thought I got all you guinea hoods locked up. What the hell are you doing here? What's the Turk paying you to set up my father, Captain? Take a hold of him. Stand him up. Stand him up straight. Oh. Told you not to get involved, didn't I? I'm an attorney for the Corleone family. These men are private detectives hired to protect Vito Corleone. If you interfere, you'll have to appear before a judge in the morning to show cause. That fucking Turk. Can you believe the balls on that guy? Yeah, that's two attempts on Don Corleone's life. Thank God we had some people here to help out. Who knows what could have happened if he was alone? Well, with Monk still laid out These and Paulie always gone, the Don's gonna need all the help he can get. Ain't you the guy that helped Michael in the hospital? It was Salazzo, no doubt about it. Bet he paid the Talia's men to come after the Don. Hey, Clements is looking for you. Over at the shop on Mulberry. Kid, it's Clemenza. Come meet me on Mulberry Street, in Little Italy. How about some new shoes, or maybe a new jacket? A new shirt or coat can give you a fresh look. You interested? No way. I look good. Hey, kid. Here's the hot ticket in town. So be there. Everyone who is anyone may drop in. Maybe you can make a few contacts. Sounds good. The party's over at Rose's. You know Rosa? Runs a hot little operation. Great for parties, know what I mean? Michael? I heard McCluskey gave you a real shiner. McCluskey can go to hell. You should go I'm just glad Desi Pop's okay. Him. He's got a job for you. Once there was this other kid around here, just like you. Nice kid, did some good jobs for the Don. Then he went and killed the Midtown police chief. I ain't seen him around here since. Saw his girl the other day, though. She looked <laughs> real sad. You gotta look sharp for the party, or you won't get in. Jeez, kid. I ain't going to no party. I'm too old. It's for young guys like you. All that drinking and stuff. You ain't nothing until you get yourself a street sweeper, kid. Find a black market seller with gun upgrades and save your cash. That piece will scare the life out of your targets. There's a few family doctors around town might be prepared to fix you up for a small fee. Beats an expensive night in the hospital. Back again. Interested in getting into the big time? Bigger is better. What are you thinking? Out there, kid, there's always someone wanting to make a buck off you. Keep an eye out for the black market sellers. You find one, you might find the weapon upgrades you're looking for. Look in the alleyways. Give me some time. I'm putting a job together. Sure. I'll be there. You just don't know when to quit, do you? I said I'd be there. I gotta go. I want to thank you for your help at the hospital. You did me a favor. I won't forget that. Thanks, Michael. I I'm just glad to help out. And speaking of favors, you should keep an eye open for people who may need your help. A Corleone or someone you do business with, everyone needs a favor from time to time. Just do the right thing and you'll earn their respect. We gotta keep the cops on our side. 
but keep an eye out for Galtasino. Those cops, McCluskey and Galtasino, they're dirty. They get paid by Bruno Tattaglia. You know that Galtasino guy? The police sergeant? Galtasino? He that prick cop who thinks he runs this town? Yeah, that's the one. He busted up my poker game, threw one of my boys in a slammer for insulting an officer. What a bastard. Goddamn police got no respect for the law. Galtasino can't be touched. He's got too many connections. Fucking Galtasino. That pig makes guys like us look legit. See Tessio. He's got a job for you. The party's upstairs. Go and enjoy yourself. Well, don't be a stranger. Monk asked to see you. He's upstairs. Not hard to find, Monk. You can hear him. Look at me. I love to have fun, ladies. Oh, I love you. I love you, and I love you. <laughs> Give this adorable guy a hug. Hey, hey, look at you. Look who's here, Mr. Sharp. We're gonna have a great time. I'm so glad you got here. Relax. Relax. Grab a drink. Hey, give me a minute. Can't you see I'm busy here? Look, I got things to do, all right? Well, hello, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. I bet you treat the ladies real- Come on, don't be a tease. Kiss me. Ooh, baby, I just love the way you treat a woman. I bet you could make me feel like a real man. Ooh, save some of that sweet talk for the sack. Know what I'm saying? Seen one, you've seen them all. Until you look at this thing here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Think I could get a little on the house? Huh? Oh, you're a bad boy. <laughs> I like bad boys. And darling, I don't want you to be starting up trouble with the other families. But if you do start a mob war, just bribe an FBI agent to set things straight. And if you ever need to hide, you can always hide with me. Looks like you got what I need. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on you. I can tell. Hey kid, I'm assuming you can see. I'm busy. Go find your own party favors. Come on, get out of here! Look, anything down there is yours. Anything up here is mine. I guess some guys are just blessed. I don't know. Casa do Caballo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my God! Party's oh. over. Bunch of celebrities, are we? Well, we'll see about that. We're here, darling. I think I need to take you in for uh, interrogation. Oh, oh. 
Son of a bitch. Something's gotta be done. Hey, honey. You see anything you like? <sighs> He's gonna hurt that girl bad. He's probably taking her outside somewhere. Oh, that piece of shit has been dogging us for too long. Why isn't anyone doing anything to stop him? What? What happened? Where'd the party go? Did Sonny leave? Huh. Sarge takes what he wants, get it? Stay where you are. Whatever your beef, we'll get to it. Listen, Mac. I hardly know these people. I don't want to catch any trouble. Think you can help me out of here? Huh? No little never hurts. And you gotta be where you gotta be. There are more cops in the alley, so try to sneak past them. You okay? Did he hurt you? Only my pride. Drunken fool's yours for the taking. You'll never get a better chance. Go on. He's up there. You could get the better of me! Oh, fuck you. Fuck you and your street folk friends. I'm in charge around here. I'm the king. He was drunk. He fell. It was an accident. You better get going to the compound. Act like nothing's happened. Cop killing is a serious business. Even a dirty one like that pig. 
Go on now. They won't find out it was you. It's me, Tom. You need to get on over to the compound now. That's all I can tell you. Jaggy, long time no see. You did a good job with those shopkeepers. Maybe it's time to think bigger. Bigger is better. What are you thinking? With warehouses, the business starts to get pretty serious. So keep your wits about you. Just remember, owning the warehouses is the key to taking down the rival families. Racket warehouses can be dangerous. Be careful out there. You're wasting your time fighting all the cops in the city. Sometimes a well-chosen bribe to the officer in question will quiet things down. I think you're next in line for promotion. Go meet Sonny and Tom at the compound, okay? No. No, 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 no more. Not this time, Consigliere. No more meetings, no more discussions, no more salazzo tricks. You give them one message. I want Salazzo. If not, it's all at war. We go to the mattresses, all right? Father wouldn't want to hear this. This is business, not personal, Sonny. They shot my father. That's business? Your ass. Even the shooting of your father was business, not personal, Sonny. Well, the business will have to suffer, all right? Listen, Tom, do me a favor. There's no more advice on how to patch things up. Just, just help me try to win this thing, okay? Hey, son. We'd like you to become an associate to the Corleone family. We can use a man of your abilities representing us out on the streets. The point I want to stress to you, though, if you're going to be one of our associates, is the power of negotiation, OK? Even with the way things are now, especially in times like this, use your head. A lawyer with his briefcase can steal more than 100 men with guns. Hey, kid, listen. Believe me, if you ever have 100 guys with guns on your side, Whatever you do, don't trade him in for some fucking lawyer. <laughs> Come back here if you get in the jam. You'll be greeted as a friend. You gotta meet over at Clemenza's house in Brooklyn. I think they know who betrayed the Don. The world is full of rat bastards who don't respect nothing. Believe me, though. You mess with me or my family. And then you try to talk, you know, negotiate, or forget about it. I come charging out of my corner swinging. Once you've been around a while, you'll see. Nothing worth the fuck gets done except by force or the fear of it. Come meet me at my house. It's urgent. Look at the time. It was Paulie Gatto who set up the dawn. You're gonna whack him today. We're gonna put his mind to ease first. Then I'll give you the signal. You'll know when it's time. I got you. I can do it. Good. You'll be making a better living after today. Here he is. Come on. Sit on the other side. 
That Sonny's running wild. He's thinking of going to the mattresses already. We gotta find a spot over on the west side. You know any good spots on the west side? Yeah. I think about it. Well, think about it while you're driving, will you? Pull over here. We own this restaurant. Hey, Paulie, you heard what my wife said. Run in and get me some cannoli. So what? I'm the grocery boy now? Paulie's going down today. But there's this thing we got to clean up first. A bar around the corner that the Dahlia's got. I need you to go upstairs and pick up the weapons and the dynamite I stashed up there. He's in the back room. Said he had to make a call. He's in the back, you know, in the back. Okay, but don't be shooting at me, all right? This is your last warning. Pay up or die! <laughs> Thanks for protecting my business. Follow me. I have something for you. Okay, kid, follow me. When we get there, I need you to place the dynamite on the second floor behind the bar. Then get the hell out of there. Me and Paulie will keep an eye out downstairs. Those Italian Gabones won't know what hit him. talking about? I was covering you. Yeah. Ah, I knew you was good for something, Paulie. You make my wife very happy. <laughs> Pull over, will you? I gotta take a leak.
I didn't do nothing. Kill him. We don't need to talk about it. They only asked me to call in sick. Nothing more. You just don't know when to quit, do you? What the fuck are you doing? Stop! Please stop! Stay back! What I do? What I do? What the fuck are you doing, wife? Oh! Stay back, or you're dead! <clears throat> What the fuck are you doing, wise ass? Please. I'm innocent. Stay back. What? Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Christ. Rocco, I asked you to bring us a car, not the entire fucking police force. They picked me up on a bridge. I couldn't shake them. Christ, let's get out of here. Kid, you drive. Take us back to Paulie's apartment. We got some cleanup to do. Paulie won't be needing his safe house no more. Kid, you can have it. Use it as a home base for getting your business done here in Brooklyn. We'll take it from here, kid. All in a day's work, huh? Kid, if we end up in a mob war with another family, you gotta resolve it, and quick. Mob wars are no good for business. Get yourself a bomb and torch one of their spots, or locate an FBI agent and pay him well to put that family into hiding. Find an FBI agent who ain't getting paid enough. Bribe the sucker and watch the rival family squirm as the FBI turn their attention away from you. Yeah, these things happen. Nobody's perfect. The family's in chaos. First the Don, then Galtosino, and now this. I wouldn't be surprised if Salazzo and Bruno Tattaglia try to take advantage of the situation. Just lay low for a while. We'll call you when we need you. Wait for a telephone call. The family will be in contact with you soon. I don't know. You think Frankie will go out with a guy like me? Doesn't matter. She's Monk's sister. Who wants that kind of attention? I guess you're right. She sure is smoking, though. No doubt, but I think she's already got her eye on someone else. I don't care that she's Monk's sister. I'm gonna ask Frankie out to the Continental. <laughs> I think Frankie's got the hots for you, Paisan.
Kid, it's Clemenza. We're gonna strike back at Salazzo. First, pick up a time bomb, then meet me outside a warehouse in Midtown. Yo, you looking for something? Nice, huh? I'll give you a good price. If you get caught, I don't know you. Got it? This place is locked up tight. Charging right in is a bad idea. Okay, new plan. Monk and me will get a crew together. Kid, you hijack one of Salazzo's trucks and bring it to Corcoran's perch. We'll drive it back here and take him down from the inside. Hijack one of them trucks. Shouldn't be hard. I've seen them running all over Midtown. Meet me at Corcoran's perch when you're done. For an ass kicking. What you get? Okay. Wait. I don't Give me the keys to your truck. Okay. Take the keys. But, but there ain't nothing in there. I already delivered the goods. Let him in. This way, come on. You and Monk plant the bombs, one for each building. We're gonna show Salazzo how the family takes care of business. What the hell? Who's in on it? Plant those bombs!
job. Salazzo must have given us the slip while we were getting ready, but he'll get our message. I think this is the last we'll see of him. Not by a mile. We got Salazzo's warehouse, but he's still got drug fronts out there. Do find him and bomb him, and it'll be a real good career move. Make the dawn proud. Sounds like a plan. Hey, we better get out of here before the cops start sticking around. Good idea. Go meet up with Monk. He's gone ahead to Corkut's Perch to celebrate. What's up, pal? It's Monk. Come on and join me for a drink. I'm in Midtown, over at the Perch. Hey, I got some important news for you. Clemenza asked me to tell you to go on over and meet Tom Hagen over at the compound. Right? Now let's go get that drink, huh? What do I need to do? Well, he didn't say. Stay for a drink. I need to talk to you anyway. You mean Jack Waltz, the famous movie producer? Yeah, the Don's gonna send Tom and some men out to visit him in Hollywood. What for? Acting lessons? <laughs> no, he's got a score to settle on behalf of his godson, Johnny Fontaine. Seems Waltz passed over Johnny for some big part in a new movie. Look, I'm, I'm not the man my father was or is. I admit that. But I'm gonna tell you this, and he'll, he'll tell you the same thing. When it comes to real action, I operate as good as anybody on the short term, you know what I'm saying? I made my bones when I was 19, uh, back during the last time the family had a war. I lose my temper, I'm gonna hurt somebody. But when I calm down, <laughs> tell you the truth, it gets even worse. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, lover boy, I've been meaning to ask you. <laughs> What's up with you and my sister? None of your business. I don't ask you about Crazy Jane, do I? Right. Anyway, she's been asking about you. God knows why. You just hanging around? Why don't you go meet her? She's working over in Brooklyn. Waltz don't like Johnny for some reason. Something about abroad. Johnny Fontaine may be the Don's godson, but he's a royal prick if you ask me. Clemenza here. That you? Meet Tom at the compound or he'll have my ass. And then I'll have yours. You should talk to Tom. No, really, talk to Tom. What am I, his fucking secretary? Glad you could make it. Got some business with our friend Waltz out in Hollywood. I could use the company. If Mr. Waltz listens to reason, I should be able to get him to see things our way. Now, if not, I'll try to give you a signal. Rocco knows what to do. You don't understand. Johnny Fontaine never gets that move. And I'm gonna run him out of the business. And let me tell you why. She was beautiful. She was young. She was innocent. She was the greatest piece of ass I ever had. And I've had them all over the world. She threw it all away to make me look ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here. And if that Goomba tries any rough stuff, you tell him I ain't no band leader. Yeah, I heard that story. Thank you for dinner and a very pleasant evening. 
car could take me to the airport. Mr. Corleone is a man who insists on hearing bad news immediately. Follow me, and keep quiet. We just gotta find a way around the house. Come on, follow me. This is horse. Cos Walt's mint. And he's more attached to it than he is to his own prick. So I says to the guy, big mistake. And what did he do? <laughs> what do you think? He took off running. Hmm. Just like that. We need to get past the guards, quietly. This way, come on! Hey, through here. We need to find a stall the cartoons in. Nah, not this one. Find the horse. Its name is Cartoon. Go out front and keep an eye peeled. It's gonna get noisy in here. We gotta deliver this package to Mr. Walsh's bedroom. After you. I love the way you do windows. What are you doing later tonight? I'm busy. I have things to do.
You wait here. I'll deliver the package to Mr. Waltz. Mr. Hagen, you wanted to see me? Relax, son. The Don regrets that he was unable to make it today. He's grateful to you for the many favors you've done for him and for the family. As a small token of gratitude, we'd like you to have this apartment with our compliments. Thank you. Thank you. Tom, please tell Don Corleone how grateful Frankie and I are. When the two of you are done, hey, look at the place over. Come over to the compound. With warehouses, the business starts to get pretty serious, so keep your wits about you. Taking down a racket warehouse is tough, make no mistake. But owning the warehouses is the key to unlocking the path to the rival families themselves. Head over to the compound later. We have business. The Don is a man of ragion, of reason. He's proof that the path to power is paved with skillful negotiation. Surprised, huh? <laughs> I'll say. I thought maybe I was gonna get whacked. Hey, and who says you ain't gonna get whacked? Unless you behave, that is. I thought maybe we could go to that swanky new nightclub in Little Italy. We could go now, or later. We should have Marty over for supper sometime. Sonny's making quite a name for himself in the papers, ain't he? Some guy was here earlier. Said he was with the FBI. What a joker. I told him to get lost. There's some nice houses over in Jersey. We should take a look sometime. Don't be going to Rose's. You know I don't like you hanging out there. How come I never see Polly no more? He just sort of disappeared, you know? You're always so tired, baby. Don't work so hard. Please? Take me to the nightclub? You should talk to your friends. One of them keeps calling and hanging up. I can't believe how generous the Corleones were. You sure must be one of their favorites. Did you have fun in Los Angeles? Meet any movie stars? You should talk to your friends. One of them keeps... So, Sonny wants an all-out war. And Tom wants to broker a peace. What do you think they're gonna do? I hope they listen to Michael's plan. He's the only cool head in the room. It could be dangerous, though. Yeah. Taking out Salazzo and McCluskey? The Turk I can understand, but McCluskey's a captain. We'll have to hit the mattresses for sure. We're gonna move against Salazzo. I just know it. If we take out Salazzo, we should go after McCluskey, too. That cop's protecting the Turk. There's no doubt about it. Looking good, Jaggy. Back again. Interested in really running this town? I'm interested. What are you thinking? There's always gonna be a guy at the top of the food chain. If you control the boss man, you control the whole shebang, understand? Let me give you the details. Cornered animals are dangerous. Be careful of the boss man. I only overheard this, but apparently Sonny's planning to ambush Salazzo at some peace meeting. Michael's gonna be the trigger man. Don't tell anyone about this. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Louis restaurant. It's perfect for us, Pete. They got an old-fashioned toilet. You know, the box and the and the chain thing. We might be able to tape the gun behind it. 
Nay, I want somebody good. And I'm talking very good to plant that gun. I don't want my brother walking out of that toilet with just his dick in his hands. All right? The gun will be there. Hold it where it's taped. I need you to take this over to Louis' restaurant and hide it behind the toilet. You can count on me. Good, good. Now get going. You ain't got much time. Get going. You ain't got much time. When you're in, take the gun to the back of the cistern in the stall there. Michael know where to look. Listen, plant the gun in the bathroom, behind the box, then get out. Don't raise no suspicions at the restaurant. Maybe you want to go round the back, but keep an eye out for the workers. Be ready for anything. The place is like a fortress. Maybe you can find an easy way in. You understand? Ragione. Use your wits. Don't let this get messy. Let me throw. I need to take a leak. Get the hell out of here. Stop! Stop! I want your cooperation, and I'm gonna get it. Kabish? Just do what you gotta do and go. What I want, what's most important to me, is that I have a guarantee. No more attempts on my father's life. What guarantees could I give you, Mike? I am the hunted one. I missed my chance. You think too much of me, kid. I'm not that clever. All I want is a truce. I have to go to the bathroom. Is that all right? You gotta go, you gotta go. I frisked him. He's clean. Don't take too long.
for a while, so just keep your head down. And, uh, thanks. You're safe. I won't forget it. You can count on that. Sonny will help you out until I return. Sonny sent me to make sure Michael got on board okay. So what happened? How'd the hit go down? Just like Clemenza said it would. Ran into some trouble with the Tatalias getting out, but I was able to shake him. Good, good. Look, the family cares a lot about Michael. The fact that you got him here safe means a lot. I think the Don is getting ready to promote you. That's great news. Thank you. The Don Corleone is out of the hospital, and he wants to meet with you. He's at the Falcon Eye in Little Italy. So Michael's headed to Sicily, huh? I won't tell. I think the family's gathering over at the Falcon Eye. Hey, kid. It's Clemenza. Come on over and meet up with me at the Falcon Eye Social Club. Pronto. Talk to Charlie? Nah, I ain't seen him in weeks. I gotta call the wife. You don't turn down an offer to become a soldado. A soldier, kid. That's what it's all about. You become a made man and part of our family forever. The Don himself may even perform the ceremony. Hey, hey, don't worry, son. It won't hurt a bit. There is nothing more important to a man than his family. These men, these men of honor, they too are my family. La familia Corleone. I now invite you to be reborn as one of us. 
Yes, Godfather. You are now one of our qualified men. Cleomini Qualifica. Please, introduce yourself to your brother. Hey, Atsha. Good for you, kid. You're done. Glad you're on our side. There are men in this world who go about demanding to be killed. You must have noticed them. They quarrel in gambling games. They jump out of their automobiles in a rage. They humiliate and bully people whose capabilities they do not know. These are people who wander through the world shouting, kill me. There's always somebody ready to oblige them. Where's Monk? I'm surprised he would miss this. Monk ain't allowed in. He can't witness the ceremony or become a made man. Why is that? He's such a loyal associate. It don't matter. He's half Irish. Unless you're full Sicilian, you'll never be a true part of the family. Monk might not like it, but you gotta be a full-blooded Sicilian to become a made man. Monk's father is Irish. His mother's Italian. He'll never be a made man, no matter how badly he wants it. Christ, Sonny, this war's raged for months. We... They fear me, Tom. They won't take me lightly. But Michael... Let... let the smoke clear. Pop can negotiate. No. No! Pop can't do nothing until he's better. I'm gonna decide what's gotta be done. Yeah, well, you're getting a great reputation. I hope you're enjoying it. What's the matter? Look, before you join us, uh, you gotta be clear on some things. Uh, La Cosa Nostra, uh, the thing we have. It's not a thing of business, it's uh, a thing of honor. You come in alive, you go out dead. You understand? All right, you agree? Yeah, since uh, McCluskey's killing, the police have been cracking down on most of our operations, and also the other families. There's been a lot of bad blood. Through our contacts in the newspapers, we've been able to put out a lot of material about McCluskey being linked with Salazzo and the drug rackets. Hey, kid, stay out of trouble, and I might have more work for you from time to time. Less Italians on the streets since I last saw you? Our business is done. Now we wait. Hey, kid. I got a job for you, but it could get a little messy. Interested? Sorry. I have a lot going on right now. Don't mean no disrespect, boss, but your girl was looking for you. Hey, baby, it's Frankie. Stop by the house. I got a surprise for you. Hey, Hotshot. Glad you could make it. Mm. Christ! They're after me! Get out of here! Let's go. Hey, asshole. We got you broad. Let's get this guy on. Bastard. I'm gonna kick 
your ass. Don't worry. You know where Frankie is. Coming. Tell me. She's gonna die, and you can't save her. Stop. I'll tell you what I know. Can you imagine what I'll do to you if she dies? Tell me where they took her. All right. She's at the old church. Say a prayer for me as you watch her die. She's at the church. That's all I know. Monk, I'm coming over. Something's happened. It's Frankie. Son of a bitch. What happened? I don't know. They just busted in and took her. Pick me up. I'm at 40th and Lexington. And hurry!
ruins for the crypt downstairs. Follow me. We'll go this way. Try to get the crypt. Come on, what are you doing? We don't have time for this. Frankie? Ah, there you are. Frankie! Oh, God. Where were you? I got you now, honey. Why didn't you come? Don't let go. alone. I need to say goodbye. You can help by making Bruno Tatalia pay for this. Go! I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Sonny asked that you come meet him when you're ready. No hurry. Yeah, this is Sonny. Look, uh, I got something you've been looking for. Meet me at the old circus shop in Hell's Kitchen. Now go straight in. Sonny's waiting for you. Please, go ahead. Hey, I'm up here. Hey, pal, Tessio's looking for you over in Brooklyn. My condolences. Frankie was a great girl. Monk's gonna be a little angry about Frankie. Give him some space. Sonny's been saving him for you. He ain't dead. He's just a bit broken. Come on, we're gonna have a few laughs. <laughs> hey, kid, listen up. We need some work done. Capiche? I'll talk to Sonny. I ain't saying shit to you. Sonny says you are the key. Now we'll find out why. Fuck you. We'll squash your family like ants.
You will lead us to Bruno Tatalia, or you will die slowly. Too weak to pull the trigger? You and Sonny are just a couple of pretty boy pricks. You prick! Tell me how to find Bruno. I can promise that you won't suffer. Get it over with. You'll never find Bruno, and your girl is dead. Hey, that's enough, kid. We can't dance around here all night. We're done. Let's get you cleaned up. Okay? Come on. Listen, I really gotta thank you. You know, for being so cooperative with us. I die before I speak. I have said nothing. No, 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 my friend. You've been very helpful. You're my key in the door. What? What key? I told you nothing. The Tatayas are gonna cremate that son of a bitch at their funeral. Bruno will be there. Hey, it's funny how things turn out, no? I mean, our enemies, they probably think you for a soft touch becomes their problem. Looks like you're gonna be one of us after all, you son of a bitch. To tell you the truth, I was kinda waiting you. You know, just for you to become my right arm so we can go kill those dirty rat bastards. Venica, let's go. Back into the battle, kid. You got no chance. You're a dead man, my friend. I killed your girl. Hell, I enjoyed killing your girl. Massimo killed his cocksucker. She was pretty, huh? Not when I finished with her. I'm too strong for you. Italians are losing their grip. A history, I tell you. No doubt, but that doesn't mean we're safe. What do you mean? It's all about power, Paisan. Someone's gonna try to move in on their old businesses. I wouldn't be surprised if the Cunios try to assert their dominance in Tatalia's old territories. Those Cunios are tough sons of bitches. Watch for them when you're in Hell's Kitchen. I fucking hate the Cunios!
Yeah, Sonny. Meet me at the compound. I'm gonna take a little drive. Hey, kid, listen up. We need some work done. The peace. I'm interested. What are you thinking? Salazzo's dead. Bruno Tattaglia's dead. But still, the, the Tattaglia's, they keep attacking us. Shooting on sight. They must, uh, I don't know, have some secrets they're keeping from us. Whatever the hell it is, they must want it really bad. What does the family want me to do now? Meet me by uh, Lucy Mancini's apartment tomorrow. You probably see some of my crew hanging around here. I got a little business, you know? Okay. We need to take matters into our own hands. There are some things that, well, they're just not playing out right. Hey, you got some kind of beef with me? Look, suit yourself. I'll find someone else. I gotta tell you, you don't want to come. I'm not gonna invite you to a whole lot of dinners. You understand that? Afraid of a little work? Anything for the Don. What does he need? To destroy your family, you gotta infiltrate their compound. They're all well protected, so you'll need to be heavily armed. Shoot your way through the roadblocks, get inside their stronghold, and plant the bomb in both buildings to torch the place. <laughs> the family ain't gonna be happy with you. If the vendetta levels get too high, your life on the street's gonna be much tougher. Sonny's right. The Tatalias and Cunios are getting more powerful. But how? It's almost like someone's pulling their strings, you know? We can't let the situation with the Cunios get out of hand. Give Sonny a little time, huh? He's got some uh, business. But he needs you to be there when he's done. When's Michael coming back from Sicily? Not until this war settles down. The Tatalias are pissed, the Cunios are getting cocky. Michael would make an easy target. I guess you're right. And with Sonny running things. Yeah, with Sonny in charge, this war ain't gonna end anytime soon. You don't always have to be out killing, you know? Why don't you try doing someone a favor? I bet Michael's got a girl or two over there in Sicily. Hey, have you heard anything from Michael? Any letters from Sicily? Hey, hey, it's Sonny. What the hell? I told you to meet me at Lucy's place. Look for my crew. Now, come on, Sonny. We gotta ease up. Negotiate. You see? There. You see? That's where this Irish crap comes out in you. You know, ease up, take it easy shit. I mean, no disrespect, Tom, but... An Italian consigliere would only listen to this negotiation shit if he had a sharp knife held on this guy's throat. Sonny, you're my brother, but sometimes... Oh, Christ, Tom, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, you, you know you're my brother ever since the day I bought you home. But let's face facts here. There's killing to be done. Sonny. 
Sonny's got some work for you with the Cuneo family. Lay off the Tatalias for a while. Just do what Sonny says. The Cuneos and two of our guys right as they were having a nice meal. These fucking animals. They hit them before they even had their soup. What's the plan? We're gonna hit this bar and the Cuneos got We're gonna drive by and we're gonna shoot the place up real good. Right I mean. Then we're gonna have ourselves a nice little bonfire. Just make a nice little fire. Something we can see from across town. Okay? All right, come on, let's get the fuck out of here. This life, you know, our life, you're not gonna get any medals. They just put you in a river, God knows where. Anyway, this is not a hero business, kid. You don't shoot people from a mile away. Shoot them when you see their pimples or something. Be close, you know? You gotta stand right next to them, blow their heads off. Sometimes their brains, they spill all over the suit. How about that, kid? Uh, how you like that? What's the plan? The plan? You want to know the plan? Here's the fucking plan. Find out who's supplying the joint and burn it to the fucking ground. That's my fucking plan. They hit us. We hit them back. it was you. Don't let him get away. Charge your butt. Hey, come on. I'll get you back for that. Nailed it. Who's supplying this joint? You're gonna have to kill me. I ain't gonna tell. I don't want to kill you. I want answers. Who's your supplier? The warehouse. It's run by Cuneo. That's all I know. You piece of shit. Think you can muscle in on my racket? Fuck you!
Now, you want a piece of me? You should have thought of that before you set your goons on us. I'll tell you what you want to know. We, we get supply from Midtown. Midtown, they're in charge. Who's in charge here? You got General Patton selling your tanks? Well, you're not far wrong. Guns. Lots of guns. Hell's Kitchen, an old wharf. Holy hallelujah. Christmas. There's more. Artie Manzarano. He's your pope down there. Whoa, look at this. Big time Artie the Moose Manzarano. Hey, that's bingo for us, fellas. Then you always pulling some cuneo strings. So now you let me go, huh? It's business. Only business. Oh, sure, sure. You're absolutely right. Time to get out of the business, my friend. Please. Please. I have children. Little children. Everybody loses something. Cold-blooded like the rest. I can see that. Oh, man, you blew out my kneecap. Let's find a fat man. Make him an offer. Find a boss of this nickel operation. Be careful out there. 
If you're thinking of taking out a family, they won't take it lying down. Killing rival soldiers and hitting their businesses will cause their vendetta level to rise. The families already don't like Corleones on their turf, and a high vendetta level only makes things worse. They'll send out their capos, do drive-bys, and make our life a living hell. Earn too much vendetta, and you'll start a mob war. During a mob war, every Corleone is a target. They'll hunt us down and start torching our businesses. There's two ways to end the mob war. Bomb one of their joints or bribe an FBI agent. The feds can be bribed at any time to reduce vendetta levels, so you should plan on paying them a visit from time to time. If you get whacked during a mob war, it'll cool the families down for a while, but only because they'll have bombed more of our places while you're away getting treatment. Use Tom's report to check vendetta levels for each family before they become a problem. Know your enemies, I always say. Call him out like a pig that he is. Adi, can you risk the Corleones as your enemies? Do your business with us, and we'll consider it an act of friendship. Refuse, then it's an act of betrayal. You ain't got the balls to run this business. Now that you know I'm serious, Artie, let's talk about a deal. You can't pull this crap on me. I'm connected. I surrender! Artie. I can't spend all day here talking to a pig. Okay, it's yours. I just hope you know what you're getting into. All right, another day, another dollar and a half. You gotta follow the river, see? You follow the shit upstream to where it's coming from. Stepped in plenty of shit today, boss. No, I'm glad you're on my side. I learned from the best. Traitor in our family? That's what they're saying. Okay, but are they saying who? Not yet, but somebody must have tipped off the Cuneo's racket boss. They knew we were coming for sure. If there is a rat in the family, I'll bet it's Willie Cici. I don't trust that guy. No, I ain't the traitor. What do you think, I'm lying? Don has new orders, pal. We're expanding into New Jersey. But first, we gotta get rid of some bad Tatalia apples. You in? Sorry, I, I got a lot going on right now. If this don't send the message to the Cornios, nothing will. The Cordleones are back. You and Sonny take this whole place down yourselves? Man, that's something. Sonny's gone ahead. Meet him back at the compound. If this don't send the message to the Cornios, Nothing will. The Cordleones are back. Those Cuneos better stay in line if they know what's good for them. Hey, Gilladilla. Sonny here. Get on over to the compound. I got a hot one. Go straight in. Sonny's waiting for you. Come here, I got a good one for you. Jeez, I, I sure hope he wasn't planning a vacation today. I'm all he is. One of your bank up in the Bronx handles all that dirty laundry. So we're gonna walk right in. I'm gonna take whatever the hell we like. Sonny. Fuck him. 
It's for you. Thank you, Dodo. I'll be right back. Hang on. Sonny! Sonny, come on! Move out. Go on. Who was on the phone? Connie, Sonny's sister. What'd she say to Cotentino so furious?
son, he's dead. The Corleone's a history. Don't hurt me! Who you working for? It was another family. I don't know who. They paid him full. All cash for the head. You know something. Otherwise, they'd have left you there. Okay. I know that they were on their way to a club on the west side. That's it. That's all I know. Who's pulling your strings, old man? Interesting choice of words. Who is the puppet master? Tell him what he wants to know. Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you! You won't get another chance. Mark my words. So tell me, who's behind this? It's not my family you want. We are too weak. We carry the guns to battle, but do not pull the trigger. That is the job of the wolf. Don Barzini. Upstairs. I hear cars coming to the house. A singularity of mine. I think you should tell you down what everyone seems to know. They shot Sonny on the causeway. He's dead. <sighs> I want all inquiries made. I want no acts of vengeance. I want you to arrange a meeting with the heads of the five families. This war stops now. I must have a strict assurance from Corleone. As time goes by and his position becomes stronger, Will he attempt any individual vendetta? Look, we are all reasonable men here. We don't have to give assurances as if we were lawyers. I'm willing to do whatever's necessary to find a peaceful solution to these problems. But I have selfish reasons. My youngest son was forced to leave this country because of this Salazzo business. 
All right. Then I have to make arrangements to bring him back here safely, cleared of all these false charges. But I'm a superstitious man. And if some unlucky accident should befall him, then I'm going to blame some of the people in this room. And that I do not forgive. But that aside, let me say that I swear on the souls of my grandchildren that I will not be the one to break the peace that we have made here today. Is the meeting over? Yes. The heads of the other families have all left. Don Vito went back to the compound to welcome Michael home. I know. I spoke with Don Corleone before he left, and he gave me a hint that you might be next in line for a promotion. To Capo, no less. Capo? What an honor. What else did he say? Well, I get the feeling that the Don's worried about the leadership of the rival families. You might need to finish up a little dirty work before you can be promoted. Talk to Clemenza, Rocco, and the others. See if they have any contract hits for you. Complete a few more contract hits. That should weaken the other families and make it safe to promote you to Capo. It's Tom. Come over to the compound. Urgent business. Don Corleone would like to speak to you. When I meet with the Tatalia people, should I insist that all these drug middlemen have clean records? Mention it. Don't insist. Barzini is a man who will know that without being told. You mean Tatalia? Tatalia's a pimp. He never could have outfought Santino. But I didn't know until this day that it was Barzini all along. With the honor of becoming a capo regime also comes great responsibility. And I hope you're prepared for it. Capos run the day-to-day -day operations on the streets and command many men. It is up to the Don to decide when you are ready for this honor. So work hard and gain his respect. Your future with the family is assured. What does the family want me to do now? The family will grow strong again with Michael in control, and you, his closest and most loyal friend. I grow tired of it now, and it's time for me to retire to my garden and my grandchildren. How are you today? My friend, we've given you a good living, a lot of freedom, and now it is time to offer you more. My father has suggested, and I have agreed. From today, I wish you to stand at my right hand as my capo regime. Godfather. But not a word of this to anyone else. Tom is out as consigliere. And Clemenza is to be given his own family, and other things are changing. We must move with the times until we become unchallengeable.
heard that the FBI is setting up an operation in Little Italy. Go over there, meet up with Monk. He's working it already. Now find out what they know and who they are talking to. Go to Little Italy. Now we know where the FBI is staked out. And I want you down there with Monk. Paisan, before you leave, somebody you should meet. Who? Al Neri, Michael's most trusted friend. Tom Hagen will be asked to step aside, and Al Neri will take his place as Don Corleone's consigliere. Al's a good man to know. He's waiting for you by the front door. Mr. Neri, I'm... I'm Michael's new capo. If there's anything I can do to help out the family, just name it. Michael has a uh, job for you. You interested? Please, give me some time. I'll return, I promise. So the FBI is holed up in the hotel? Yeah, and Michael told me there's a snitch in there right now. He's ratting out the Corleones to the FBI. Huh? He never said anything to me about that. He just wants us to find out what's going on. What are you doing? It's not the plan. We gotta get in there and find this rat. Just can't wait. That lousy snitch was ratting us out. We'll show him. You go first. I'll cover you. Calm down. Back for that. Go on, I got you covered. Go on. You stinking traitor rat. Jesus Christ, Monk. Who, who is this guy? He's the snitch. He's the one. Monk. Put your guns down. Both of you. Jimmy? What the fuck are you doing here? Michael sent me. To help you guys out. What are you fucking kidding me? We don't need no babysitter, Jimmy. This was our job. Oh, yeah? Who pulled the trigger? Come on, Jimmy, this ain't no quiz show. What's done is done, all right? So who killed the agent? Was it you? Nah, it, it was Monk. What do you mean, agent? I thought this guy was an informant. He's a fed. Michael, yeah. Yeah, it's me. I'm here. You were right. It was Malone. There's a dead FBI agent here. Yeah. Yeah, he pulled the trigger. He's here. Hold on. It's Michael. He wants to talk to you. Michael, what the hell is going on? Monk's dirty. He just killed the agent that was running him. He was desperate to cover his tracks because we were smoking him out. So, what? You played some kind of game with me to set up Monk? 
I was the bait? No, a suspect. We had to be sure. Now it's settled. But uh, you'll have to kill him. For the family. Michael had me tail Monk. Followed him across town a couple of times. Jeez, who'd have believed it? Monk betrayed us. You can never tell. Monk, what happened to you? What happened to you? What do I owe to family? Huh? I mean, I, I was never gonna be on the inside. I was never gonna be made, not like you. And for what? Because of who my father is? Let me tell you something. When you killed Frankie, when they killed Frankie, I just didn't care anymore. But you turned your back on the family. You're gonna let me go, or you're gonna die trying to stop me, so help me. What do you want? Oh, oh. Let's go! Ah. Carly Hone screwed me over, so I got some new friends. I don't need you anyway. I got some new friends. Got here as soon as I could. I don't believe it. Monk, a traitor? Listen, Tom needs you urgently at the compound. It's Tom. Come over to the compound. Urgent business. Sal, Tom, the boss says he'll come in a separate car. He says for you two to go on ahead. Hell, he can't do that. It screws up my arrangements. Well, that's what he said. I can't go either, Sal. Tell Mike it was only business. I always liked him. He understands that. Tessio was setting Michael up. The Bazzinis are waiting to kill Michael at Tessio's place in Brooklyn. What's the plan? Meet Willie Sichi at Tessio's place. The Michael Act should fool him. Willie will tell you the rest when you meet. Sally and I go way back. It's unfortunate. But an example must be made of it. It was business, strictly business. We don't get personal in our line of work. Tessio was setting Michael up. The Bazzinis are waiting to kill Michael at Tessio's place in Brooklyn. Lock him behind Sal. I'll be right behind him. We'll see how many there are, and then start shooting when we're close. So Tessio gets caught in the crossfire? It could play out that way, yeah. At the very least, we'll give you some cover. Come on, let's go. Follow me, stay close. Ah! <laughs> 
Wait! Wait a minute, goddamn! No! Ah! 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 Got hit. You look. Come on, we were friends. Let me go. Don't shoot! I'll come out! Wait! Wait a minute! Come on, we were friends. Let me go. It was only business. Business, I tell you. Please, let me live. I'm innocent! It was business. Biz, come out. We were friends. Let me go. Talk to me. We can work it out. Ain't Michael gonna need some help running the family? I mean, Monk and Tessio are gone. Those are big shoes to fill. I heard Fredo Corleone's gonna be visiting from Vegas. Maybe he's gonna step up. Nah, Fredo's in town with Mo Green for business. Mo's opening up a new operation in New York. That don't seem right. The deal was Mo runs Vegas, the Corleones run New York. He ain't supposed to be doing that. Oh, my luck. I heard Willie Cicci's gonna get promoted. Now the Tessio's out. Fredo went to Vegas to learn the casino business, but I hear he's banging cocktail waitresses two at a time. I guess Michael saw right through Tessio, huh? Probably call you soon about how it went. Wait for Michael to call. Until then, stay quiet about Tessio. Michael, I want to meet you and Fredo at the Peak Hotel in Midtown. Make sure to have some dynamite. For me. Michael's right-hand man. It's an honor, sir. Hey, hey, it's you. Hey, come on in. Welcome. Long time no see, Pally. Hello, Fredo. How you been? Good. Great. So, you here to sample the good life? I mean, what can I get you? Nah, I'm here to meet Mike. Michael? Michael, what is what does he want? Mikey, you look good. What brings you here? Fredo, sit down. Hear me out. But, sure, Mike. But what is it? What's going on? We're taking down the hotel, Fredo. Tonight. But now. But why? This is Mo's operation. He, he's my friend, Mikey. Mo's dirty, Fredo. You know he refused my offer. Can't allow that to happen. Uh, God damn it. This can't be right. Now I need you to do something for me. Just name it. There's a secret casino in the basement. You're gonna clean it up. It's members only. So get the password from one of the hotel workers. I got it. Good. I won't let you down. I don't expect you will. Nah, I thought Mo was one of the good guys. What the hell is Michael thinking? Anyway, I guess you better do what Mike tells you to do.
there's one more thing. But I don't want Fredo to know. Is it about Mo? Yes. Mo Green is finished. He doesn't respect us. We're taking over Las Vegas, and this heist is gonna pay the moving costs. Do you understand? Yeah, but Mo owns Vegas. Everyone knows he can't be bought. Let me worry about that. When you're done, meet Clemenza and me at the safe house. Mo won't be a problem after today. Yeah, but, but Michael, Mo... Mo what? Mo what, Fredo? No, I'll tell you. Mo manipulated us in Vegas and now he's come here. Jeez, Mikey, he's only opening a hotel, for Christ's sakes. Here? On our turf? Fredo, Fredo, Fredo. What, what made you so blind to this? I... Uh, whatever the family wants, Mikey. You, you know I'd never go against the family. Good. Now do as I say. Mo Green will no longer be a problem to the family. <laughs> Mo's casino is for members only. They change the password weekly. One of the bellhops might know what it is. Fredo doesn't realize how powerful Mo's become. He's sitting on top of a gold mine here and doesn't even know it. You look like you lost something. You know about Mo's casino, right? How do I get in? You need a password. Changes weekly. I think it's Redwood. Okay. Are you deaf or something? The password is Redwood. I gotta call away. Sorry, this room's closed for, uh, cleaning. You don't need to pull that act with me. I'm here for the action. The password is Redwood. You're a member. Why didn't you say so before? Ah, you're a VIP. Enjoy yourself, sir. <laughs> when are you gonna have the money? I don't believe it. Watch out for that guy. I see a tan and raise your point. You work here, right? Someone dropped their wallet in the stairwell. Okay, sir. I'll go return it to security. <laughs> hey, I think someone dropped their keys in the stairwell. Thanks for the tip. I'll go return them to Lost and Found. <laughs> Yo! Stop right there! your hands in the air. Q. 
are surrounded. Give up. Good job. You make a good capo. Now talk to Clemenza. Clemenza helped me plan the mo job. The cops are all itchy about the heist, probably looking for you. But we expected that. Getting out was tough. I had trouble shaking him. Don't worry about that. I need you to stay focused on Mo Green and the bullet you're gonna put between his eyes. I got it. How's the hit gonna go down? Mo's right here in Midtown. Michael arranged the massage for him. First, use the patrol car out back to slip past the police. Drive slowly, sneak into the place, and take Mo out. When you're done, meet me at Corcoran's perch. Hurry, you don't have much time. The squad car's out back in the garage. Use it to get around, but don't let the cops see you. Come on, kid, the clock's ticking. The family cannot be implicated in Mo Green's death. It will screw up our plans for Vegas. Do this right. I don't want any police interference. Do we have a description of the suspect? White male, mid-twenties, six feet tall. Okay, got it. Anything else? Arm. Considered dangerous. Might be affiliated with the mob. Proceed with caution. An eyewitness reports that the guy might be a Corleone. You know anything about that job at the meantime? It was there. Six feet tall. What the? Tell Mr. Green that security's been compromised. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Your whole family's gonna die. <laughs> Don't you understand? You'll never get Vegas! you and Mo. I won't say nothing. I don't even know this guy. I, I, I promise to stay quiet.
So, did you take care of our little problem? Yeah. Mo's going back to Vegas in a pine box. Good. Here's your share from the heist. Now, when you're ready, meet Michael in Little Italy. He's gonna be at the baptism for Connie's baby. A baptism? What's he need me there for? It's business. Michael's gonna put an end to all this bloodshed once and for all. He'll tell you more at the church, okay? Meet Michael at the baptism. Something big is about to go down. Don Vito. He was a good man. A great man. Those were some nice words Michael said at the funeral. With Vito gone, I guess this really is Michael's family now. I just hope he has a plan to patch things up with the other Dons. The Don. He died at home, in the garden. We're gonna miss Don Vito. May he rest in peace. Michael at the baptism, all right? There's a lot of power behind a badge. Michael's son. here for the baptism. He's over in the graveyard. Michael's waiting for you. True to gate. Michael's in the graveyard. They're getting ready for the baptism of Connie's baby. Welcome, my friend. Are you ready for today? Because today, we'll set a course for all our futures. What do I need to do? Clemenza is waiting at the flower shop in Midtown. He will help you with what you need to do. I won't fail you. It's our destiny. I know you won't fail. Clemenza's over at the flower shop in Midtown. Good luck. You don't got much time. You better leave. The baptism don't take very long. Michael needs you to be back before it ends. You have to do this before the baptism is over. You don't have much time to complete the hits on the dawns. You getting a fight or something? Ah, nice day. Good to see you, kid. Shit, you ain't such a kid anymore. Down to business. What do I need to do? You're gonna need to escort Don Stracci to a truce meeting. At least, that's what he thinks. Drive to the St. Albans Hotel in Midtown. I'll explain on the way. Listen, drive over to the St. Albans Hotel here in Midtown. We're gonna take down Stracci. He's got a room there. Watch for Stracci coming out. Talk to him, follow him into the elevator. He thinks you two are going for a little meet. Oh God, run! All right, follow me inside and try not to look suspicious. It's an honor, sir. such thing as an honest politician. Be careful. Start anything and his goons will take you down. Find Strachi. Kill him. I'll cover the lobby. Now go! Is Don Stracci ready for our meeting? He's on his way.
I'm here to meet with Don Strachey. I hope you're unarmed, as we asked. It is an honor to meet you, Don Strachey. The honor is mine. Where are we to meet with Michael? Someplace public, outdoors, safe. I'll take you there. Good. I want there to be peace between our families. Follow Don Strachey into the elevator, slowly. Don't try anything stupid. Kill them all! Willie Cici is waiting for you over in the barber shop in Hell's Kitchen. Michael Francis Rizzi, do you renounce Satan? I do renounce him. And all his works? I do renounce them. And all his pomps? I do renounce them. Let's go. Drive to the Savannah Hotel. Who are we gunning for? We're gonna take down Cunio. Should be a piece of cake. Get near to the place and let me out. You'll be on the outside. I'll be inside. Keep an eye out for Cunio backups. Don't start anything until I start it. I'm gonna trap Cunio in the door. See it? Step forward and shoot from your side. And you'll have no way. So keep close so you can see the action start. But watch for body moves. So watch it. Trap Cunio in the door, and you blast them. Capish? I'm going in. Do the right thing, huh, boss? Did you hear about that? I'm only gonna warn you once. Well, okay. This is your last warning. Move along. Got a VIP coming out. Look, it's none of your business. Someone! Oh my dirty. god. Oh my god. Dirty. Look at your face. You get hit by a truck or something? Put something cold on that bruise. It'll help the swelling. Fucking hell! He's going down! 
before the cops come. You need to meet Rock over in Brooklyn. Michael Ritzy, will you be baptized? I will. In nomine Patri e Fili e Spiritus Sancti. Rocco's just down the hall. Doors open. I hear Philip Tatali is around this neighborhood someplace. But where? You made it. Tool up here and let's get going. You know where we're going, right? To tell you shacked up with a hooker near here. You mean you don't know where he is? All I know is it's a backroom escort service. Gotta be near here. Looking for a good time, sugar? Not the sort of good time you're offering. Well, come to the St. Sebastian if you get lonely. The St. Sebastian, it's a hotel here. How loyal are you to Don Tatalia? Is he paying you what you deserve? Now you speak in my language. He's upstairs. You can probably hear him. You fuck with me? I could care less. It wasn't me. It was Barzini. You cheap bastards. Ah, Bossoni. A ruse. <laughs> Gotta meet Al Neri outside the cop shop. Michael Francis Ritzi, go in peace, and may the Lord be with you. Amen. Nice get up, Al. What's the plan? Bazzini has an appointment at the Justice Building. He'll be getting out soon. We got a rush. Okay, where to? Drive the car over there and park where I tell you. We're gonna use this police car to get real close. When Barzini comes out, I'll try to take him down. But it might need your firepower as well. If he gets off the steps, hunt him down. This'll have the cops running from all over. Be ready to make a fast getaway. By the car, cover me. Keep calm, won't suspect me at all. What you got there, pal? Move it. Enough. 
and the time is right. He will take your revenge. I knew it. I knew it would be you. This isn't the end of the Barzini's, I swear it. Talk to Charlie? Nah, I ain't seen him in weeks. He's up with us. We've all gone back to the compound. You need it there, right away. Damn, I'm hungry. It's Tom. Come over to the compound. We want to talk about your future.
Lake, park, scene dark, silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me, you, sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, 